All right, guys, it's a new day. We're gonna head out on a new job. We're gonna take the new Honda excavator, thanks to Honda and Rico equipment. You got me a new Pepsi. I'm excited, I think it's gonna be a good day. Let's hit the road, I'll tell you what we got going on. Not having to use a pump. So 
so we're thinking if we get the water level back up in this pond where it's supposed to be that extra two feet of water may make a pretty big difference on the other end that's kind of the thought process pipe in we're gonna put a little bit of rip wrap at the bottom of it and then uh sorry I'm concentrating here a little bit of rip wrap at the bottom of it and get it get it straightened out up there part of the problem is kind of going crazy all right let's see what we're gonna run into yep there's a fence down there starting to get off the dam here a little bit it's not quite as steep as what it was Oops, I hit the track. Shoot over here. It's gonna be really fun. I've got to get it sideways on this thing. Oh, hang on. End of the fence. And now I'm not straight. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, yeah. I don't do the trick. It'd be fun climbing back up out of here in a minute. All right, John's over there with his kids there. He's trying to do a bouncing. Oh, oh man, down. Oh, John's trying to do a bouncing maneuver with his kids there. Maybe I need to try to bounce a little bit. But uh, we got this. I don't have it quite dug all the way down but another awesome reason why i love the uh closed radius machine look here we are out in the middle of a farm again right up against the fence super handy so let me uh we're, we're gonna attempt to get this pipe in here hopefully i don't fall down again i'm gonna get that much of it covered up and then we'll uh come back and dig the rest of it out i'll get on the other side of it Man, oh man, I'm having a hard time uh, standing on my feet this morning. I went out again, but we got the pipe in. I'm going to attempt to straddle this ditch and get that backfilled as much as I can. And once I get that backfilled, we'll come down here. Man, that is steep. Uh oh, come on, buddy. Come on, don't let me down now. You can do it. You can do it. All right, so once I get this backfilled, then I'll deal with the uh, downhill side where I'm up against that fence. It's uh, tight and very awkward down there. So, backfill we up. Backfield, and I'll get swung around where you guys can see what I'm doing behind me. All 
right guys, I got the pipe back filled enough that's gonna stay there. I'm trying to kind of swell this out a little bit down below it here. Uh, we're just, we know it's behind there's a section of pipe, but we don't, so we're just gonna put a little bit of, uh, oop, I hit the blade. Put a little bit of riprap in there. I don't know if you guys can tell by my uh, bubble over there. This is a very, very awkward position for this machine. I'm digging over the side, downhill. But uh, other than the rubber tracks giving me a scare every once in a while sliding around on this grass, the machine is actually fairly balanced. I'm trying to build John a road over there so he can get in here with a skid steer and get me some uh, get in here with a skid steer and get me some rock in here. But yeah, the uh, machine is, is surprisingly balanced on this hillside. I can't swim the other way. There's a fence in the way down there. Yeah, I'm um, pleasantly surprised on how well we're uh, getting along here. So let me get this dipped out a little bit, get some rock in the bottom there, and then we'll get the uh, other overflow redone that right in there so I got a place to go in a minute. Alright guys, we got the ditch, ditch swelled out. John's gonna dump some riprap in there. The old, uh, old tired skid steer. It's a little different than the track one. Get some riprap dumped in there. We're gonna get that swelled out. I don't know if you guys can see, but I've got that dug down a little bit deeper than the pipe there. Um, so we can get some riprap underneath there. While he's packing riprap, he's got a little bit of a track to get riprap here. We're gonna start uh, robbing some dirt to throw back up there. If you guys remember from the other video, this is the old overflow that washed out. So I'm probably gonna come in here, dig me a little bit of a keyway right there. Then we're gonna take some good clay and build that back up the same height as this dam to get that water level up a little bit. I'm not gonna get too carried away with this. Just gonna 
dig a little bit of a trench here to get the grass and the vegetation off. That way we got uh, something good for this new dirt to uh, walk into. We don't have to worry about it seeping through there and causing a wet spot. This is actually some really good dirt in this dam. There's some good dirt back here behind us we're going to use to fill it in. So I think we'll be in pretty good shape. Well, that old snag the fence again. I don't know if you guys seen that other shot. I haven't looked at the video yet, but there's a bolt on the pin out there. Hooked the top run of fence. And I uh, broke one insulator. At least I stopped before I yanked the whole fence out. But we're going to rob some dirt over there. John's coming through with another another bucket of rip wraps. We'll let him get dumped and then we'll go down there. Keep you guys in the loop with what's going on here. I uh, trying to kill two birds with one stone. You guys remember when we started this, it was all washed out real bad right there. So I'm trying to kind of level that up, trying to give me a little bit of decent dirt to build this dam back up here. And then John's still packing, packing rip wrap in. So far, he hasn't got the skips here stuck or turned it over. So that's a that's a good deal. But I'm getting some good dirt up there in that keyway. I'll go up there and kind of pack it in with the track over here in a minute. And then we'll kind of clean our mess up on the way out. But don't worry, you guys aren't missing anything too exciting. Dig and swing, dig and swing. guys there's the fish quick and easy finished product i love that flat bottom bucket for stuff like this it works so great but got rip wrap down there in the ditch got the pipe coming up out here in the pond uh, it's going to give them at least let's say at least 18 inches more water good to go there got the dam back in over there with some good dirt got it all cleaned up we're going to head across the hill to the other one what do you think buddy does it look good <laughs> got the cow stamp of approval you like it thumbs up nothing oh man 
not very talkative this morning. It's still early. All right, on the next one. All right, guys, we're tracking on to uh, Project Two. As much as I complain about the uh, rubber trucks on the side of the dam, they are kind of nice when you're tracking down the asphalt road. So I guess they do have their advantages after all. But uh, I get down here, I'll uh, show you what we got. So if you guys remember this one, we got some water issues. Water's coming off this field and going into that building where they store some equipment. Hey, it's got a good ditch down this side. We're just gonna make a little swell right through that old corn planter right there. Try to get that water caught before it comes out of that field and then heads, then send it over the hill. But uh, first things first, the old uh, Alice Chalmers planter is in the way. It must be moved. Chris says it's junk, so we're gonna treat it like that. Really not a good place to grab this thing. Not completely destroying it. I said destroy it, but I don't want to. Let's see if we can do this. Put that over there. Split my tooth on that bar right there. Or I wish I had a different thumb. That ain't gonna work. Guess we'll have to go here. up with guys it's absolutely nothing uh fancy at all but it should do the trick of keeping the water out of that building this all drains that way to that pipe this is going to drain that way and they got a diversion ditch down there but probably uh 16 18 inches deep there sloping that way actually end up being some halfway decent topsoil so uh, i threw it up in a pile there they got a skid steer i'm sure they can end up using it for uh using it for something but uh, the next one, if you guys remember, we gotta go down over the hill. There is uh, a little dry dam down there that's busted out. He just wants to uh, do a quick little repair on it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this thing back on the trailer and we'll, uh, we'll just trailer it down at the bottom of the hill. We're heading that way anyways. It's a pretty good little track down there and then I don't know. I've, I went back and forth on how to get the machine there. I decided I'm gonna load it up and haul it there. So let's go get loaded up. Anybody else find the sound of tracks chugging along soothing for some reason? Or am I the only weirdo out there? Random question for the day. All 
right guys we got the machine loaded up we are literally going down the hill around that curve there the biggest obstacle we're gonna have is getting turned around here we're gonna do a little shimmy shake move so let's do it over the hill we go
This is going to braid the mud up there and try to clean the holes out. You think I can take a little bit out on that back side over where you're at? advice I got is don't fall in or don't go over your boots I'm glad I ain't got those shorty boots on you guys. <laughs> hey don't be making fun of my area boots now see that's I wear boots like this I don't have to do stuff like that <laughs> I've got the wrong boots on for sure remember good old-fashioned red wings there ain't they yep does that slot keep going there's another right here at the bottom of this slot, and then there's another one down below it. Below it, so it's it's just you know the water runs in. A, yeah, I can only do so much to get out of there. It's the water level's dropped six eight inches though. I'm sitting full right now. Look at that water coming in off that spring. Yeah, it's coming in pretty good right there. It's crazy. All right, guys, there's what we got. We're going to quit while we're ahead. We dropped the water level on that thing probably about eight inches. It got all the debris over here cleaned out. I'm going to try to slide my way off this dam. I don't know quite how I got myself in such a precarious situation, but I did. Slide my way off the dam here, get our mess cleaned up a little bit. I think we'll have this wrapped up. There we go. Tracks are right up there. Get another hard rain. That thing's gonna be the new overflow. We don't want that. up with a tractor and loader bucket years ago but you know what it served its purpose well there's a big spring up around that hill all that water's coming out of that spring there is a lot of water coming out it's probably pretty good water all right let me finish this up all righty there it is it's nothing pretty but it's all cleaned up and chris gave us the stamp approval so we are going to head out Another job complete with the 145. This is, uh, I think this is the fourth or fifth job I've done. I think it's the fourth one I filmed. Um, learned a lot about this machine. There's some features I really like. There's a couple things that uh, are a little different, but uh, we get done. I get done using this thing. We'll uh, we'll do a comparison video to the Volvo 140. Kind of give you guys my thoughts about some stuff I. Uh, like and don't like one versus the other but uh machine's been doing great i haven't had a minute's trouble with it it's been awesome to operate super comfortable but uh we're heading out we're heading on the next one guys hope you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe and comment and uh we shall catch you on the next one we're out